so guys we know how to do connect to our database uh, connect to our local host and select our database create our database create our table and insert data to our table okay guys today i'm going to show you how to insert data using form html form and here is my code over here i've already written the html code here's my page then let me explain some stuff when you are sending data to the or inserting data to your table in the database you should first give it the method if you want to post the data which is post i'm giving it the method of post and there is a, another method known as get and request okay here i'll be using post so that i can get my i can post my data into my action index page then if my my data has been posted to my index page i can take i can take fetch it and take it to my database insert it to my table okay guys let me begin by writing the code here okay first we'll start with your username and you have given it a name of username so i'll just come here and write Then we defined it. Uh, we defined our first input in our PHP. Okay. The second thing we'll take the value of password by using the name attribute. Lastly, we define our button, our submit button, which is I've given it a name of sign in. Okay, and we're done. <coughs> so the first thing we'll check if our button has been clicked and checking if our button has been clicked I'll write down this code yes. set button if it's set button if this button has been clicked we check the check if our username and password are empty if they are empty we give it a code and if they are not empty we proceed with our code If they are empty, we just say echo. And if this, if they are not empty just write okay you connect to a local host and uh, select your database then after that secure the information that we are trying to enter in our database or inserting in our database okay the first thing we should only do is zoom to HTML characters or you can use trick 
tribes. Okay, so then if you want to secure your user's password, you can use the uh, you can encrypt it by using MD5 or crypt, but I'll use MD5. Just password. Then I prevent my SQL injunction. So I use my SQL real my SQL real escape string. Then after that I insert my data into my table. So I'll just write the code. Okay, after that, then we check if uh, our data has been incited. Then we give it uh, an alert like uh, inserted successfully, or if not inserted, it just inform us that our data is not in inserted successfully. So let me write down the statement. So confirming, let us save our work and see if we are on the right track. So let us see if it's working. Okay, let me type in equal. See it has given us a positive value that we logged in successfully or signed up successfully. So let's check out at base here is our database. Our table. And there you go. Never fall successful. Okay, let me try another example like Password. The password has been encrypted, so nobody can know to use your password. As you can see here, we gave it a simple password, but it comes in and encrypts it. We used MD5 to secure our user's password so that it cannot be visible to anybody. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, let me show you the last thing if you want to use um, the 
object oriented you just replace you replace here with the mysql new mysql connect then you let me just do it just give me a minute okay you replace here with my new mysql then we pass in the connection then you run the query and after running the query let us see if uh, show insert it says used okay wait and password one oh you just found where the problem is and i'll just remove this one yeah do it again Successfully or signed up successfully, let us reload. Okay, got a slight problem. Okay, let's try it again. There you go. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. The problem was just here and here. So, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is how the data from the form is inserted to our tables in our database. Okay.